The background for this project is two or three years ago, they had 19 firefighters in Arizona uh, die in a, in a tragic accident. And uh, it kind of called into question the fire shelter. We wanted to see from our perspective if we can improve it, make it any better with materials that are newer and novel. Our partnership with the College of Natural Resources is incredibly valuable to us. Dr. Joe Roisey is helping us throughout the project, uh, giving us guidance on you know, what are the conditions that we see in the field and also helping us understand how these shelters are worn and used. Wildland firefighters uh, get uh, killed every year by being overcome by the flames. Today we're in a forest that some students from the College of Natural Resources are going to be igniting for us. When we were coming to set up, uh, Dr. Roisey came out and he, he was able to understand which direction the wind would be coming, where the fire would be coming from, so that we could set up in the appropriate direction. And that's something that um, me and my team wouldn't have known. We've done so much work in fire protection. Uh, Dr. Barker, Dr. Roger Barker, who's the, our center director, has, has been working in fire protection for 25 years. So we, we've been doing this work for a long time. We have a lot of uh, industry contacts um, with these manufacturers who make these materials. We, we, we work on these standards committees. We've analyzed well over 250 materials for this. We've got a lot that we think are, are strong candidates, so we really saw ourselves as, as one of the best places to, to help the U.S. Forest Service and, and help FEMA with this project. So this is an extremely important project, and if we can get a better product out for them to use, it'll change the situation across not just North America, but across the world.